And I think that was my trouble at the very start of when the doubt kind of started, um, was that I kept thinking, oh my goodness, I can't be doubting, I have to make it go away now. What helped you yeah. go from, I don't know if God is good and, and really cares to, I'm starting to believe that maybe he does. Cause that's a big, that's right. a big step. Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of people who listened and I think that was huge for me was knowing that seeing that all these, these wonderful, some older than me, some my age, some younger than me would sit there and actually listen to what I was walking through, um, really felt like if people could care that deeply, it showed me how much God really cared. Um, and so that's where, for me, I, I kind of, which it seems so funny because I'm like kind of went to the counseling field as well, but I didn't really realize how powerful listening really was. Um, it didn't take people kind of teaching me and telling me the right way to walk through things. It really just took people sitting through, listening to me. And then through that kind of baby step, pushing me to start reading my Bible again and start kind of discovering those things, um, which was really big for me because I read through the Bible. I'd done all those things before, but yet it was like, let's not check the boxes and just take your time, just crack your Bible opening open and just spend time in prayer. That was the thing I really lacked actually was prayer. Um, very much so. Uh, I always was like the Bible reading kind of person, but I wouldn't spend time actually seeking the Lord, bring my requests to him and really listening to him. Um, so I think a big season for that for me was just stopping trying to make things work and just listening to people, listening to God and really taking it slow. Um, and I think that was my trouble at the very start of when the doubt kind of started um, was that I kept thinking, oh my goodness, I can't be doubting, I have to make it go away now. So I kept trying so hard. I would like desperately try to read my Bible, desperately try to pray or whatever the situation was. But yet it was like God was reminding me, like, stop seeking out desperation, just like be present with me. And it was just those those still kind of quiet moments that were the beginning of that, knowing that it wasn't about desperately trying. Yeah. I mean, the illustration that's popping into my head is like, uh, and I know nothing about being a lifeguard at all because I can't even pass. <laughs> I can't even pass by like level six. Like I have the, <laughs> I have the swimming qualifications of a ten year old, but <laughs> but it's it's kind of how they say like you know if you're drowning, it's like uh, you can like if someone's trying to save you, you can actually be dangerous to them because you can be like yeah. you're just like so frantic that it's like you can't really receive anything, and it's almost so you just need to like sure. stop and like actually like be saved a little bit and like yeah. actually just like receive so it sounds like you were like okay i'm gonna stop like doing all these things to try to just like fix the problem as fast as i can yeah. and yeah. you're gonna start like reading and praying in order to just genuinely try yeah. to encounter god yeah and, and it, it's actually funny because my like i'm a very busy body person so for me i'm a, a constant fixer i need to have an answer right away um even like people at the church if you talk to them it's like this yes, won't say no like i I have to do everything, get all done as fast as I can. Um, mm. So with that, I realized that naturally my walk with God, like I, I have my fists closed all the time. Kind of even now I've been walking through, not, not doubt, but now like, okay, I've worked through the season of doubt years ago, but how can I make sure that doesn't come back again? And so it's been this process of how can I walk with hands open all the time and know that even holding your hands open to receive from the Lord can be tiring. And so saying, God, how can you hold my hands for me to receive from you? So it's been kind of this process of like letting go is really hard. And sometimes we desperately want to figure out the answers and we try everything we can in our own strength, but yet just letting go and spending time with the Lord is so essential. And it seems so easy and too easy that we often forget to do it. That clip was from a full conversation I had with my friend Jess, where she told me about her journey through doubt. And it was such a good conversation. If you want to hear the whole thing, just click that video right there.